People ask me, oh, you know, you guys have a dog out here. What does she do? <laughs> and I say, well, she's our goose dog. And they look at us and they go, you guys don't have any geese. <laughs> Golf course dogs are, you know, something that goes hand in hand with being a superintendent. There's Facebook groups dedicated to golf course dogs. There's calendars dedicated to golf course dogs. It seems like golf courses, you know, we drink coffee and we have dogs. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like that. When I was at South Suburban, I wanted to get a dog because it's something I'd always wanted to do as a being in the turf industry. And I presented it to our director of golf at the time, and he thought it was a great idea. And was super successful there and I brought that to uh, the city of Denver and I actually ended up writing the dog policy for the city of Denver golf courses so that now we not only have Juno we also have a dog at Kennedy and at Evergreen too and I think one of the guys at uh, City Park is uh, in the process right now certifying his dog uh, we use him for goose control and it's been super, super effective, and uh, the response has been positive. And Dan, she runs around, and you know, people talk about, well, how can you be in a bad mood when you get home, and you know, your little dog sitting there, you know, wagging his tail. And I, I mean, I don't have that because my dog doesn't have a tail. But uh, <laughs> you know, how can how can I be upset when uh, when I'm driving around the golf course and my little dog looks up at me and without a tail wiggles her little butt, and uh, it's great. <laughs>